GMG, good morning. GMG, good morning. That was 50 Cent Hustle's ambition, huh? Let's get GMG in the chat this morning. I'm not going to play with you this morning. Got a good topic for you guys. So it's a trending, uh, trending, intriguing, intriguing question as well, okay? Let's get GMG in the chat. I want the finer things in my life. That's why I hustle. Nigga, you get in my way while I'm trying to get mines. And I'm going to buck you. I don't care who you run with. I really don't care where you're from. Nigga, fuck you. <laughs> I want the finer things in my life. That's why I hustle. <laughs> if that don't preach, my nigga, I don't know what will. Shout out to the great 50 Cent. Hustler's ambition. A lot of you niggas need to get some ambition in your life. I don't like excuses, y'all. Excuses make my tummy ache. Sorry, just not built that way. All right, let's talk about this topic here, man. Steve Wilkes, a guy who so boast, bodaciously and so uh, affirmatively got up on the podium and said, I got other options in case shit fall through, right? <laughs> Well, so far, we don't see Brian Flores, another affirmative action hire. He's been requested to be interviewed. I don't see everybody else. Some other no-name uh, coordinators and stuff, they've been re But yet, Wilkes has yet to be interviewed for another position. A guy who stated he has options. I'm going to say that nigga was <coughs> pump faking. They got that nigga for a three-second pump faking call. <laughs> pump faking on the play. Lying about opportunities. Got that nigga pump, 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 pump faking. GMG, get money, gang. Get money. All right, all right, here we go. I'll give you guys a mock draft later tonight. Stay right there. Let me read this cash app. Oh, man, I love waking up to cash apps. Shout out to Louise Baby for that big donation. Pause up. Yes, sir. Pause up. Pause up. Shout out to Miss Danielle. I missed you last night, Miss Danielle. She says, it's Danielle Sartine. Love you, cat. I love you too, mama. Thank you for that donation. I missed you last night. Pump faking ass niggas out here. <laughs> I got opportunity. Pump. Five seconds in the key, ass nigga. Is Steve Wilson the five second in the key? <laughs> ass nigga. <sighs> Feeling good. I'm selling down. I'm off today. I'm supposed to be at work. I took today off, man. I'm chilling. I did all my shopping and shit. I don't spend so much fucking money over the past two days, so I'm just chilling tonight. I don't eat fish. I don't eat lobster. I don't eat steak. I'm in the house today, y'all. Give me a second. Let me let my uh, adrenaline calm down. It's almost Aquarius season, y'all. I can see my fucking moon rising. I'm about to turn up on y'all asses. Give me a second. Let me calm down. <sighs> Gotta do breathing exercises. All right, let's get it. Um. Today's episode brought to you by prizepicks.com. Prizepicks.com, official sponsor of Pats on the Keep Pounding TV podcast. All first time users that use my promo code Keep Pounding will receive a 100% deposit match. All right. It's playoff time, y'all. It's playoff time. Yo, it's time to get this money. Prizepicks.com, the link is right there. If you look right there, right there in the chat. First up. 49ers and the, and the Seattle Seahawks. Go to prizepicks.com. All first-time users using my promo code will receive 100% deposit match up to $100. You deposit $100, they'll give you $100. Deposit $10, $20, $50, whatever, they'll match you. How does it work? Choose between two and six players and simply, hey, and simply decide whether or not they'll go over or under the projected amount. Last night, I hit on my Hawks, and I hit on the um, the Warriors game. Big game today, y'all. 
Let's take a look at some of these numbers right here. They got Geno Smith throwing for 221 yards. What do y'all think? More or less? More or less, Geno Smith throws for 220 yards against the uh, the Niners. Brock Purdy, they got him throwing for 220. You got him for more or less against the Niners. I mean, against the Seahawks. Christian McCaffrey, they got him for 72 and a half yards. More or less against the Seahawks. I'm going to say more. I think he's going to run all over their asses. Uh, DK Metcalf, more or less than 61 and a half receiving yards. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say that's, that's about, that's about right. I think the Niners defense is for real. I think they're going to go to the, to the NFC championship game. Uh, receptions, Brandon Ayuk. Well, Brandon Ayuk had more than three and a half receptions, so he has to get four. I like this matchup with Kittles. I think Kittles is going to be the main focal point outside of Christian McCaffrey in the passing game. So, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I'll probably stay away from that. Passing touchdowns. Brock Purdy, will he throw for at least two passing touchdowns? Let's see what he's averaging. He's averaging 2.2 per game. So, I think it's fair to say, yeah, two, three. His last five games, he's had 2.2 per game. So, three, two, 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 yeah. All right? So, that's how prize picks work. Simply choose over or under the amount that the player is going to win, all right? You could 25 times your money. In case you niggas ain't good at math, $20 equals 500 real quick. Real quick. I'm playing. So I'm playing. As soon as I get down my open soliloquy, I'm going right into the lab trying to figure out. Easy money, y'all. By the way, Uncle Quan, I'm looking for you on hockey. I meant to call you last night, but I don't got your number. Last night they had um the white boy from um Pittsburgh. Sloganvin. Shlo Sloganvin. They had him for over three shots. Did he make it? The white boy from Pittsburgh, from the Penguins. Shlo the Ford. The 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 the, the Ford. Sloganvin. I think slogan Vin. They had him for three shots on the goal. The nigga averaged six six shots on the last two games. Get with me, man. I'm trying to get on that hockey, man. I need your Canadian plug. On God, bro. Slogan Vin, bro. Look him up. Slogan Vin. All right, man. Prospects.com. Uh, Unc, when you call in today, let, let, let's tear c Duggy's ass apart. I'm <laughs> tired of fucking playing with c Duggy. <laughs> Last night, y'all, I ended the show after nobody called in. C Dougie, man, he said his car broke down on him. So, man, that's not that's not funny, man. But I just thought the timing was bad. Let's tear that nigga apart. Let me show you some love in the chat. Then we'll talk about. Uh, this nigga up here pump faking about jobs. Shout out to Theodore. He said, what do you think about prize picks this weekend? I'll let you know in just one second. Thank you for that cash up. I'll let you know in just one second. Yeah, bro. Email me about the hockey, bro. Yeah, Uncle Quan, email me about the hockey. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Taking my time. I'm not in no fucking hurry. I want you to know that. All right, here we go. Shout out to Donna B, James Hamlin, D Cash, the Chillest Ice Poppy, Chandra Hayward. I ain't saying hi to that nigga. Shout out to Green 80. Dominique Wirick, what's up, Dominique Wirick? Chandra, hey, SC Base Marnie, what's up, Marnie? Uh, Green Eighty, what's good? Danielle, what's good? Yeah, who else we got in here? Uncle Quan, what's good? Gas Station Burrito. Uh, I don't think I would eat that. <laughs> Gas Station hot dogs are pretty good. My nigga, uh, yeah, yeah, GMG all day. Nick Parker, what's up, Nick Parker? Shelly Long. Prince Williams, what's good? Joshua 
N. What's up, Joshua N. Tyrese Ross. Gabby Stewart, I see you. Scott Yang. What's up, Scott Yang? Joker NC. What's up, Joker NC? Let me calm down, y'all. I got to take my, my, my time. Um, shout out to B. Rich. Mac Town Tony, rest in peace. 704 The Goat. That's all right. That's a fact. JJJR Jr. JJ Jr. Keith Hackman. Hey, Keith Hackman. What are you saying? You guys want Derek Carr? If you ever ask that question again, I'll block you for life. We don't want Baker Mayfield 2.0. Jimmy Russo, good morning, Big Cat. I got the damn flu, but checking in. Damn. Prayers up to you, bro. How'd you get the flu? Today they're actually having the parade right now, the Georgia parade. I didn't want to go. <laughs> I've been to one last year. We'll win one next year. They're having the Georgia parade down the street. And they're getting ready to have the ceremony in the stadium. I said, I'll go next year. We had one last year. That's what winners do. We uh we write it off. King Mingo. Hey, King Mingo. Food for the soul. The promo code is keep pounding. One word. Keep pounding. It's pent right there at the top of the section. Thank you for your support. Keep pounding. Shout out to Joseph Ash. Joseph Ash says. Okay, he deleted his message. Shout out to Shelly. She said, I know it's crowded. Yes, yeah, crowded. It's right down the street. Very crowded, okay? A lot of people come from all over the state of Georgia to, to go. It's not just niggas in Athens. It's, it's, it's packed. Last time I went, they had, um. do you guys know, uh, y'all know the bitch who came up with Slutty Vegan? You know the Slutty Vegan girl? I think she married the nigga called Big Dave. You know Big Dave, Big Dave Cheesesteaks? Y'all know Big Dave's Cheesesteaks? They were in the Ebony magazines. I know a lot of you niggas probably, oh, Essence, I'm sorry. You niggas probably read Essence Magazine if you can read. If you can't read, your handler probably showed you the Essence Magazine. And, um, yeah, they were on the front cover one day. So last time I went, they gave out big-ass cheesesteaks, bro. Ooh, cheesesteak egg rolls, too. All right, let me get started. I ain't got much to say. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes, so maybe. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your paws up. All right. uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share. And put GMG in the chat. I, I take that seriously. Shouldn't no nigga be walking around here broke. I don't give a fuck if you got a sweeper. Listen, if you got to have 10 jobs, you, you get money if you got 10 jobs. I care if you work at McDonald's. I don't care if you sweep up piss. It's a job, right? You get money, right? You get money. Get you some ASMR this morning. Y'all like AMSR? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all don't know that y'all don't know that by now? Alright, let's talk about the Jigaboo lion again. Alright, y'all. So if you haven't uh <laughs> Still right there, still right there. What's up, Uck? Yes, sir. I'm going to stay right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. My nigga Unk on the line right there. That's my guy. You know what? Today, um, his birthday is coming up this week. So can we get some burn uh, birthday donations? Unk 2021. His birthday is coming up this week. Uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be live for his birthday. So if you would, please hit that donation. I'm going to push it all throughout the, uh, the show. Unk 2021. Show that nigga some love in that birthday cash out. All right, now, Steve Wilkes, earlier this week, got on the mic and was talking about, you know, possibility of, uh, if it doesn't work out with the Carolina Panthers, he got other opportunities. 
so far, I seen everybody but this nigga have multiple interviews. Uh, even uh, Brian Flores, another guy who's actively suing the NFL, he's been he's been a, a, a candidate on somebody. I forget who who interviewed Brian Flores. Who requested an interview? Brian, I think was it the uh, who was it? Was it the Broncos? I think the Broncos requested an interview with him. So it can't be the lawsuit because this nigga has an open lawsuit too. I think. I think he hasn't done enough, y'all. I don't think Steve Wilkes done enough. Shout out to the young man who tagged me on Twitter, man. I love the ones that actually follow me and pay attention. A lot of you guys, some of you guys, you watch, you watch the channel and you just, you wait for me to say something crazy and then you fucking, you know, laugh at it or whatever. But you got people who actually listen to me. And this young man right here. Let me see, can I pull it up? Stay right there. Let me see, can I pull it up? Shout out to you for, first of all, for having the courage to say this. Shout out to you for having the courage to say this. Not too many people. Shout out to, let me see, let me find his name. You made me proud, nigga. You made me proud to call you a cool cat. Stay right there. Let me find it. Give me a second, y'all. Y'all got time to wait. Y'all ain't going nowhere. God damn it, where is it? Give me a second. Okay, somebody must have reported it. Whole ass niggas. Y'all some whole ass niggas. Y'all love that man so much. Why y'all report that shit? Y'all some whole ass niggas, bruh. Y'all crying cause cause a man is y'all some whole ass niggas, bruh. Bro, why be why be on why be on my personal page and then you reporting shit, bruh? Some whole ass niggas. Y'all don't gotta. Y'all y'all love that nigga that much, man. Whole ass nigga. <laughs> y'all don't reported this man, man. That's y'all don't. I can't even find it, man. Y'all some hoes for that shit though. Stay right there. I, I know where else to go to. Y'all some whole ass niggas for that, bro. Cause a motherfucker don't think like you. You criticize or ostracize a nigga. <laughs> some whole shit, bro. Stay right there. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta get out of that shit, bro. I don't know who raised y'all. Y'all must, y'all must didn't drink from the titty when you were younger. You probably drank from the goddamn Similac bottle full of soy and shit. I'm trying to read this comment to y'all. It was beautiful. Here, let me find it. Here we go. Shout out to the whole niggas who ever reported that man's uh, comment. Anyway, this is what he had to say about Steve Wilkes. Claiming to have a phenomenal turnaround. And why has he have a job interview? Shout out to my man Craig Martin. Salute to you, brother. He said, the reason why Steve Wilkes hasn't had a job interview outside of the Carolina Panther is because he ain't shit. <laughs> Hold on, there's more to it. <laughs> He said, because he ain't shit, only Panthers fans fall for goofy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to that nigga, Craig. Shout out to that nigga, Craig, man. Someone reported this nigga, bro. That's, uh, hey, bro, I wish I could get you out of out of jail, bro. I can't get you out of jail, bro. They don't report it, my man. That's some whole shit. He just speaking freedom of speech. That's what's wrong with you niggas. You niggas won't let niggas be free. Now listen, when the white man puts you in chains, then you holler freedom of freedom, freedom. But when a nigga speak his mind, y'all report him. Come on. That's the same shit you claim the whitey was doing to you. Shout out to Craig. Again, if you didn't hear it, Craig Martin said, cuz he ain't, he ain't shit. Only Panthers fans fall for goofy shit. Now I ain't gonna go that far and say he ain't shit. I'm not gonna go that far. I mean, but if you want to say that, a nigga ain't going to stop you. I ain't going to stop you from saying it, but uh, that's your perspective here. The reason why this man hasn't got an interview, he's partially right. He ain't done enough. I think he's 6-6 six and six as the head coach. He's 10-18 and 18 overall as a head coach in the NFL, period. And his shit is outdated. His shit is outdated. You know? The wins we got, we got using some fucking Larry Zonka, 
Some Jerome Pettis shit. <laughs> Shout out to that nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah. He out here using some outdated fucking formula. You know what I mean? You, nigga, we don't have Larry Zonka on the team. We don't have we don't have fucking Sean Alexander. We don't have Curtis Martin. We don't have Gail Sayers. We don't have fucking Walton Payton. He out here using some old ass fucking formula that was worked. This is a passing scoring lead. You know what I mean? That control the clock shit. You know what I mean? Listen, you're gonna see what that what that listen, Jimmy G has been to a, a championship. And he also been to the NFC Championship game. But how many of you has he won? Has he won a Super Bowl yet? No. That slow down, control the clock shit, it only works so far. It only works so far. You have to put up points. You have to score. You can win games by controlling the clock. You can win games by running the football. But what happens when a team takes you out of that? Because there are coaches that's going to take you out of that. There's, there's going to be turnovers. There's going to be miscues. You know, let me tell you something. I told you this. Once the Carolina Panthers fall down by 14, if the Carolina Panthers are down by 14, you might as well turn your TV off. Under Steve Wilkes. Under Steve Wilkes, if the Panthers fall down by 14, turn the TV off. They're not coming back. Because the offensive of philosophy is not built for that. Now, Kansas City? Kansas City, they fall down by 14? Let Kansas City fall down by 17. I ain't worried. <laughs> I'm not fucking worried. Because their philosophy is built to goddamn slang that hoe. Need some more MSR. The reason why this nigga ain't got no other fucking job interview because nobody wants that wacky ass philosophy on their team. Now, I have no doubt in my mind this nigga is an upstanding man. I'm not talking about coaching. I'm just talking about being a good man. As a man, he's a good man. Black guy, nice haircut, uses big word. He actually thinks before he talks. He wear his he wear his gig line. He keep his belt above his gig line. My military folk, y'all know what a gig line is, right? Keep his gig line 90, 90 degrees. You know what I mean? When he's wearing his belts. Even like a father figure. I don't blame it because most of that locker room in there, most of them niggas sub 20 years old. So they kind of need like a daddy figure. Sad, but, you know, it's truthful, man. You know, but end of the day, Steve Wilkes is pump faking. Nobody wants this motherfucker as a head coach. Now, as far as my man Craig Martin saying Panthers fans fall for stupid shit, saying that, uh, you know, the guy ain't no good, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say his philosophy is outdated. And the same way I told you guys about Matt Rule, we need more than a motivator. Steve Wilkes is a motivator. The boy's a motivator. I hope we wrap this shit up within the next week or so. Let's get Ben Johnson or Ken Dorsey in here. And let's wave goodbye to this nigger. I hope... I hope Buffalo Bills get down by 14. I hope the Kansas City Chiefs get down by 14 uh, this playoff. Because I want you to see what a real head coach look like. We're sitting here on playoff, super playoff weekend, advocating for a nigger who ain't done enough, while we got fucking six coaches, seven coaches on playoff uh, wild card weekend Showing what their value is. I'm going to say this again. I told you before. Steve Wilkes was never David Tepper's guy. When he fired Matt Rule, he never said, I want this guy to lead me to my next championship. He was a fill-in replacement. Just like a, that's like a substitute teacher going to school, right? Substitute, a substitute take, teacher take over for your main teacher. Now, while your substitute teacher's in there, he does a phenomenal job. All the kids love the way he teaches and all this shit. Well, that's good, but they never intended for him to be the main teacher. The fact that he got the, the, the fucking crowd or whatever, the fact that he got niggas to buy in, it, it, this is really a shit show. It's really some clown shit if you think about it, bro. I told you, man. This was still Matt Rule's fucking personnel. Let me, let me, I broke this down to C. Dougie not too long ago. Think about this. 
because a lot of you guys don't critically think. So I'm going to help you today. When Steve Wilkes took over, who, who playbook was he running? Hello, I'm asking you a question. When Steve Wilkes took over, who playbook was he running? Can you please answer my question before I cuss? Because I'm going to cuss next. I'm going to cuss next. Who play calling? Who plays while he running? What's the... Thank you. Thank you, Patriot Cybrit. Thank you, Joseph Ash. Come on. Come on now. There's 191 people in here. I need 191 answers in the chat. Whose fucking playbook was D. Wilt running when he took over? Man, I'm about to end this shit. Y'all think I need this shit. I'm about to end this shit. Because I'm trying to teach you motherfuckers. You niggas ain't paying. There you go. There you go. Ben McAdoo slash Matt Rule. Stay right there. I'm taking you somewhere. I'm going to take you somewhere. Ben McAdoo slash Matt Rule, right? Ben McAdoo slash Matt Rule. Okay. 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 Stay right there. Let me ask you this. When we went one and six... When we went one and six, when we went one and six or one and five, who playbook was Matt Rule running? Come on, quickly, quickly, folks, quickly. I don't have all day. I don't have all day. I got a, I got a jack-off appointment. I want to go lay down, watch some football, take a big nap here in a minute, then I'll be back with you guys later on. The same one, exactly. He was running the same fucking playbook that <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Steve Wilkes asked, so what, Big Cat, what are you getting at here? What are you getting at, Big Cat? Steve Wilkes went 6-6 six and six with the same playbook that Matt Rule had. So what's the difference, Big Kite? What's the difference, y'all? What's the only difference between Wilkes and Rule if they had the same playbook, same scheme that they were running? Same, what was the only difference, y'all? Somebody, come on now, come on, please! Y'all motherfuckers can't be this goddamn simple! If, if Matt Rule, I mean, if Steve Wilkes went six and six with the same playbook that Matt Rule fucking had, and Matt Rule went one and six with that same playbook, what's the variable? What's the difference? That's right. That's right. Thank you. Man, some of you guys, I swear to the Lord Jesus, God damn it, I love you, man. You better be glad I love doing this shit. The players' effort. Thank you, Chris Gosen. Thank you, Chris Gosen. The players' fucking effort. Thank you, Chris Gosen. Thank you, Gosen. The motherfucking players' effort. And y'all want to praise this nigga as if he put some miracle water on these niggas and made these motherfuckers play. It was the players' effort all a fucking long. There was no difference to the... <laughs> I'm trying to keep calm, man. So my point is this. While we're praising Steve Wilkes, should we really be praising him? The players quit on Matt Rule. And for those who don't know, Steve Wilkes... <laughs> If Steve Wilkes brought in an entire new playbook at week seven and these niggas picked it up, then he deserves to have this job. I'm going to tell you now. If Steve Wilkes brought in an entire new playbook in week seven and got us to six wins, give him the job. I'm telling you now, give him the job. Give him the job. But I'll bet every goddamn fucking penny I have. I'll bet all this, all this shit in here. I got thousands of dollars worth of shit in this bitch. I'll bet everything I had that nigga used that same raggedy ass playbook that Matt Rule had, and those niggers just bought into it. Those niggers got up for the black man. Like I told you, man, I don't go to work for my boss. I don't go to work for my boss, man. I go to work for me. I give my best effort because of me. 
How hard I work is not a contingent upon how hard you work. I'm not subjugated to, to, to whether or not I like you or not. That's how hard I'm going to work. I'm going to work hard because it's in me, nigga. It's ingratiated in me. That's in my DNA. But apparently you got millionaire fucking players, thousandaires, hundred thousand there players, quitting on niggas because they don't like a guy. But as soon as they see somebody in there that look like them, all of a sudden they know how to tackle, they know how to run, they know how to throw better. Fuck out of here, stupid shit. No, nah, I don't get that nigga shit. Get that nigga shit. I just broke it down to you guys. Ain't no difference between the playbook they were running before Matt Rule and after Matt Rule. Niggas try to put effort in. That's all. That's all. And you can hate me for saying it. You can call me, but you can't deny what I said. You can call I'll be your fat ass punk. I'll be your fat punk. I'll be a lame ass nigga. I'll be a fucking hater. Be a fat fucking hater. I'll be all that shit. But it still remains the same. What I'm saying is truthful. What I'm saying is logical. I, I'll be all your ad hominems. I'll be all that shit. But what I'm saying makes 100% sense and is 100% factual. Despite how you feel about me. Now, how you like me now, motherfucker? They quit on Matt Rule. And they know that. You know why this nigga don't have any other job interviews? Because the co Let's, coaches talk. Coaches talk. Owners talk. Niggas talk. They know that shit. They know that. They know that nigga. They, they, you, don't, you, don't think, you don't think motherfuckers say, yeah, uh... They know this motherfucker came out here running the motherfucking 1950 off again. Nigga out here running Gale Sayer offense and shit. Same fucking playbook. Oh, that's Matt Rule fucking playbook. All them players playing a little harder. You don't think the motherfucker noticed that shit? No, that nigga don't have no other opportunity for head coaching position. He may have a job for coordinator. He may have a job for coordinator. Nobody wants this nigga as a head coach. If the Carolina Panthers sign him as head coach, they're making a grave fucking mistake. Grave motherfucking mistake. I don't give a fuck. You get CJ Stroud, Bryce Young. I don't care if you get Quentin Johnson. I don't care if you get the dude from Tennessee, the wide receiver. You can bring in who the fuck you want to be in here. The guy's play card is inadequate. I don't need another motherfucking motivator. Nigga, we in a fucking recession, nigga. <laughs> you need motivation to make a your $100,000 salary? You need motivation to make a your $100,000, your, your million dollar salary. Your big black ass who came from the projects, you're from the fucking projects, I ain't gonna say who. You big black ass, you're from the fucking projects. You barely could put two sentences together. But you're making a million dollars tackling and, 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 and you need motivation to play hard? But you don't want to play hard because a white man's the coach? David Tepper, I swear to God, bro, if I was you, I'd get rid of every one of those niggas. I'll get rid I'll show these niggas. <laughs> Let me tell you, I told you I used to work with Pepsi. I already don't told this story, bro. I told you I used to work for Pepsi. Nigga came in there, said I'm the best order picker in here, yada, yada, yada. The plant manager came down. He told that motherfucking nigga, I will replace you. All I need is a two pair of arms and two pair of legs. Nigga came up to the plant manager at Pepsi, told him I can pick out everybody. I'm the best. Y'all need me. Y'all need me. He told that nigga to his face, I just, I can replace you with a two pair of arms and two pair of legs. And he went back and looked at his fucking order sheet. <laughs> he said that shit so easy, like it wasn't shit to him. He just, and he started looking over his order sheet. Niggas out here talking about they don't want to play hard for something. And they want to get it credit for Wilkes. Come on, man. Y'all about to piss me off. And I'm tired of being nice about it. I'm trying to simplify this shit. It ain't nothing personal. I don't know the nigga. I, I don't have no personal reason to fucking not like the guy. I don't have no personal. I don't know the dude. I don't fucking know the guy. What I do know is he he had no different playbook. What I do know is them players' effort change. I don't give a fuck if Matt Rule's talking about, hey guys, let's make bologna sandwiches. Nigga, you're a professional. You're a professional. Do you know how many athletes make it to try to try for the NFL? Listen, man, when I was coming out of college, they got this thing called a Super and Regional Combine. So people, a lot of you guys don't know, they got the NFL Combine. But prior to that, they got this thing called Super Regional Combine. They usually have it like in Texas, they have it in Atlanta. 
to have it in Annapolis. It's it's what it is is people who ain't like really really stand out at the college level or whatever. You go to this combine, there's NFL systems and shit there, and you work your ass off, and you just try to put on a show. If you're good enough, then they send you to the to the to the, the big combine. The one that you guys see on TV. Y'all guys don't know about this. It's like six different locations. You pay like three hundred dollars. You work out. You work out, and you get, if you if you're like if you really catch somebody's eye, they'll sing you up. They don't show you that on TV. Okay, like, do you know how many people and what it takes to get to this place for you niggas to boycott? I, million dollar niggas boycotting who they want to play for? It just don't make sense to me. No, this nigga ain't got no fucking other interviews. Nobody wants his ass. His skill and philosophy is outdated. Steve Will's best trait is the fact that he's a nice guy. You want to be honest with you? He's a nice guy and, and, and black players like him. And you got white players that like him. <laughs> philosophy shitty. You know what I mean? Inconsistent to the motherfucker. Doesn't have enough experience. I, I seen what I need to see out of Wilkes. I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. I, I'm telling you to your face. I don't give a fuck if you like it. You let Mike Evans go for 200 yards. I don't want to hear shit about Dante Jackson being hurt. I don't want to be hear shit about J.C. Horn being hurt. I do know whoever you had out there. You had Henderson on him and Keith Taylor on him. I know that shit wasn't working. You brought in Josh Norman. You put him in the fucking last, last, you brought this nigga in. I don't know why you brought him in. You brought him in for a victory lap, I guess. For nigga putting up 200 yards, I mean, you, and I don't put two different people on him. Don't you think it's time to rotate? Nigga, I've been, I've been rotating everybody out there. Nigga, I would have put Derrick Brown on fucking Mike Evans. I, I know it, what I was trying wasn't working. I know what I was trying wasn't working. So I'm going to switch up. Your dumb ass got in the fucking shootout with, uh, with Tom Brady. You got in the fucking shootout with Tom Brady instead of controlling the clock and slowing it down. This is what you want for a coach? This nigga playing for a... <laughs> Stay right there. Shout out to Ricardo. He said, I can see Wilkes being and the next planet of the apes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate your cash out, man. Y'all wildin', man. Shout out to Walt Senior. Get Shaq Thompson the fuck out of here. Facts. Yeah. He's indecisive. Can't adjust. Only time I seen him adjust was in Seattle. That was it. He's outdated, man. And everybody sees it. Except Panthers fans. I'm sick of talking about this guy. I'm ready for this shit to be over with. Give me my fucking Ben Johnson or give me my Ken Dorsey. Let's let this shit go. I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick of talking about this guy, bro. I'm telling you this now. David Tepper, if any player, any player comes in your face trying to muscle you, because that's what you whole ass niggas is doing. Y'all niggas got the nerve, bro. Imagine you being a billionaire. You're a billionaire business owner. And your fucking employees come up to your face, tell you what they want. Tell you how to do. Man. All you niggas are doing is trying to bully that man. That's his fucking business. Let him make the decisions. You just play. You fucking play. You do your part. I'm trying to bully this man and who to fucking hire. That's his business. Y'all out here fucking advocating. Your job is to win, and you ain't been doing it very fucking well. Do your fucking job, and then maybe we can give you some rapport. You ain't got no fucking rapport. We're 6 and 10. 7 and 10. We 7 and 10. You, you making demands. Nigga, we ain't 12 and 4. We ain't 10 and 7. Do your fucking part and win. Then when you win, you write me a fucking letter and tell me what you want, and I might answer the letter. 
Man, David Tepper, you better be glad you you the fucking owner. I, 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 listen, if I was you, Tepper, I would go in that locker room. Who wants Wilkes? Raise your hand. Who said they're going to, who, who going to boycott? Who going to boycott? Who going to boycott if uh, if Wilkes don't get hired? You? Okay, come here. Tepper, come here. You going to boycott? Who's that? Shaq Thompson? Come here. You going to boycott if we don't hire Wilkes? Okay, come here. Hello? Hey, Bill, how you doing? Yeah, I got Shaq Thompson up for, for trade. How much you going to give me? A bag of peanuts? Shit, I'll take it. Salt it? Salt it? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll use unsalted. Thank you. Who's up next? You? You want Steve Wilkes? You coming up to my office telling me, wait a minute, did we go 7 to 10? Yeah, you come here. You come here. Hey, how you doing, New York? You need some defensive tackles? Yeah, we got Derek Brown said he got them. He, he, he riding with Wilkes. He speak for the locker room. Uh-huh. Yeah, can you believe that? I'm a billionaire. Yeah. Okay, check this out. Check this out, Bill Belichick. Guess what? Them niggas went 7 and 10 trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> All right, I'll sign a trade paper. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Fuck is wrong with you guys, man? I'm done. Y'all there, fellas? Yo, yo. Yes, sir. Hey, real quick, Big Cash, shout out to shout out to Joseph and shout out to Walter Senior for those cash apps. I love y'all for that, man. Big Cash, let, 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 let me jump off in it. See, I, I sit and I listen to you. I twist I, me I a couple great things. I want you to take your time. Don't rush. No, no problem. No problem. Now, first off, because it's it's a fucking fact the Panthers are procrastinating with Steve Wilkes. We we can see that us as Panther fans, we we, we can is. see we can we can definitely see them pulling this nigga along, just like they pulling us along. Now, what I say to that though, Big Cat, you have opportunity, even though he stood on the podium and regurgitated that shit that he did. <laughs> like, like what say, he got he got multiple options. You know what I mean? And, and, if, and if I'm not re-signed here, I'll show you what I do. So so now, so now you know the Panthers, the Panthers is like, oh, okay, then bitch. Well, let me see. They like they like right. bust a move there, nigga. So, but big cat, I, I I like what you say there, but but I, I will say this if the Panthers keep playing with Steve Wilkes when they go back to reach for him after the Ken Dorsey's. And the Ben Johnsons of the world bust a fucking Yui on them. And they go back to reach for they reach for Steve Wilkes and their contingency plan is gone. Whether or not he do get another another opportunity in the league or whether he go to coaching or whatever the fucking case may be in college. Point is when they go to reach back for him, the nigga may not be there. And you also made another good point in your opening soliloquy, big cat. Well, you was alluding to the Kansas City Chiefs, and yeah, yeah, talking about I, I, I'm a, I'm assuming you was alluding to uh, to Eric B. Enemy, and when you was talking about you know soon to be head coaches, but 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 uh, but uh, but a fucking point came out about Eric B. Enemy just just a couple hours ago, and it's it's funny how you didn't mention it. Eric B. Enemy, since he's been an offensive coordinator, has been on fourteen. I repeat, 14 fucking head coaching interviews. Now, I say that to say this. Motherfucker done been on 14 head coaching interviews <laughs> since he, since, big cat, in two years. Two years. 14 times this bitch been interviewed. We talking about Eric B. Enemy, offensive coordinators for the Kansas City Chiefs. Which a lot of y'all like to revere to these motherfuckers being the next waves of head coaches. But see, now I look at it, Big Cat. Same thing go with Steve Wilkes. Same thing go with a lot of these motherfuckers. Regardless of what B. Enemy does with, with the Kansas City Chiefs, his success will never be truly given to him as in, in a form of credit because he got a motherfucker at the top of him. Yeah, Ed Reed. So when I say that, Big Cat, if, if, if Eric B. Enemy's been on 14 fucking jobs, 14 assignments, or, or 14 interviews, rather, and, and didn't get near one of them, let's just be honest. 
I gotta, gotta what the fuck I'm makes gonna... you think? What the fuck makes you think Steve Wilkes got opportunities out here? <laughs> re, 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 look, whether whether or not whether or not he he gets an interview, like you say, these these are just fucking slot fillers for the simple fact. The, the 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 news came out a few hours ago that that D'Amico Ryan said fuck the Panther. He gonna no, bust no. a Huey. See, no, no, so, no, that, no, that's, no, not um, that's not that's true. Not um, what happened, um, yeah, no, no, um, no. Hold on, don't no, don't um, cut me off. Don't cut me off. Um, Leo said it ain't true, but let me tell you the truth to it. The the the, the reasons that that D'Amico Ryan says you motherfucker won't holler. That ain't true. Cut me off. The the reason the nigga ain't coming to Charlotte is due to logistical reasons. That what yeah. the fuck they report. Yeah, and if you know what logistical uh, means, uh, that means transportation, nigga. That means D'Amico Ryan's told the Carolina Panthers he can't find a fucking ride. No, that's no, what he no, told. No, 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 what they try to do is they try to fly his ass out yesterday before okay. he had a game today. Okay, That's needless to say, problem. well, needless to say, logistic reasons is what they reported. I'm saying the nigga told him he can't find a fucking. Um, they ride. gonna do a you Skype. They, they they gonna Skype him. Um, next e week, either um. either way, the, they, either they way, Demigo Ryan's Demigo Ryan's won't uh he won't he won't interview with the Panthers. Y'all can cancel that shit as well. So <laughs> what I'm saying is this. All of that shit going on, Steve Wilkes got got multiple opportunities. I really don't see him because when 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 a motherfucker like Eric B. Enemy that been on fourteen fucking coaching, oh, oh, head there's coaching a reason this. why. There's a reason why. Oh yeah, yeah I'm getting high. to it, Leo. I'm getting to it because because I'm I'm almost. I'm almost willing to say it has to be the skin tone, Leo. Nah, nah. It, uh, it has to. Nah, nah. Uh, it uh, has. Okay, you, stop, Leo. What okay, what look, offensive look. coordinators out in the NFL right now? And I want the truth from you. Oh, I'm better than Eric B. Enemy. If we're oh, talking this. offensive coordinator, who's better as oh. as a coordinator? Oh, okay. I hear what you're saying, but look, listen. To the, it, 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 here's the context and the caveat to that. Um, do you know who? Phil Jackson assistant coach was when he was with the Bulls and the Lakers. You know, you know. Oh, you go, you go, you go wrong. Hold on, no, 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 when he was with the Lakers and the Bulls, because he had no, 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 and he had Kobe Bryant and Shaq. So Eric enemy has the, the advantage of having Patrick Mahomes. Oh, this is the truth. Oh, you, could, you could Google this right now when you get a chance, brother. Eric enemy is a is a poor, a poor interview. A mother will go on 14 interviews if they if they oh, oh that's a fact, Leo. He he oh, he's no, doing it, something it, it, wrong. Okay, he's he he doing something so, wrong. He's something wrong, and it's not so it can't be a skin color. And also, um, <laughs> this man, this man has a long and I within this couple of years, you keep going this every year. This man has a long history of run-ins with the police officers. Uh, uh, this man has oh, multiple shit. assault charges against women. Multiple, not one or two. Well, yeah, 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 well Leo, that, 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 okay, I, I hear what you're saying. But then, but, hit, hit my, no, I, I was just simply more. making a point, nigga. No, no, no. The because point because is, if, if that motherfucker is doing 14 assignments or 14 fucking re, uh, interviews and not get one, we... we I'm not. I'm, if, if, Leo, if I can't say, yeah, if I can't say it's his skin color, uh, skin color, I gotta say this nigga's incompetent. Yeah, you know what I mean? Saying. So he he if I got to wait, Andy Reid called the plays. So, so, so if I gotta wait a two, Leo, yeah. I don't want to say he's an incompetent he, motherfucker. I rather put. I rather take the whole way out and say it's his skin tone. Okay, you feel okay, what I'm I feel he, But look, check this out. Um, another black man. I forgot the dude. He used to be the running back for the Eagles. But LaShawn McCoy, I, I can put the link, I can put the video in the chat. LaShawn McCoy said there's a reason why Eric Benny don't get jobs because he don't he, he not calling the plays. And also, no problem, he didn't say that. But he said that Eric the enemy is, is, is a content a can cankerous person. He's very confrontational. He said the players, he's not a player's kind of guy, man. Because his personality is what it is. But there's been multiple Sources saying that Eric Bieniemy is a poor, he's a poor interviewer, and you become a poor interviewer. You know how you become a poor interviewer when they ask you questions about the business model, the business plan, 
what are your goals and he don't have a legitimate yeah, yeah that's, it's something Leo it's because something black, because black because black coaches black coordinators they get interviews all the time but yeah. if you know what you're talking about like Miami coach he mixed but he got an interview because Miami in the playoffs his first fucking year and you saw what he did with Tua so it has nothing to do with race at all anymore. People need to stop that. It just it, it, well, you, you, well, well, well. Stay right there because mm -hmm. reports are that the NFL is set to do away with the Rooney Rule That's by 2014. So if race not is 14, not 24, no, nah, I mean yeah, 424. I'm, I'm smoking, Leo. My father. No, no, that was like, nah, okay. I, 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 I didn't hear that. That's why I was trying to make sure you you said 24. Okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't yeah, that. damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 get high. Yeah, <laughs> nah, but hey, hey, real quick, though, no, big cat, big cat, big cat, big cat, big cat, big Hey, I miss, I missed the live last night, nigga. I'm yeah, gonna I tell you why. Shit. I wanted to call in. Nah, 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 that's, fuck that's all that. Big that cat, big cat, cut that shit off extra quick. But needless to say, big cat, I went out last night. Did, did. My wife took me to the fucking chilies, and they had these these fucking margaritas in there with a two <laughs> limit per customer, right? <laughs> God, uh, yeah, made out of some some old. Oh, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I I ended up quick. yeah I ended up drinking two of them bitches. You know what I mean? Sleep in go. the goddamn car. Got home, fell oh, out, and then my wife say they can't lie. Uh, all I remember hearing is that wave shit, nigga. I, other than that, I was done. I was done. Nigga. I said, God. Yeah, I was. Damn. I was listening, but I was gonna call in when I got home. But Big Cat was done. Nigga was tight, nigga, tight. Big Cat, nigga myself. ain't good. I had one nigga say he was gonna call in. He ain't had nothing to do, and then this nigga talking about his car broke down and. Nah, Leo. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, that nigga's Leo, full of shit. Yeah, he full of Leo, shit, bro. I've been told you, bro. Hey, I'm going to tell you, we got to pack this nigga out. full of shit. He full of shit. I'm I ain't like, trying to hear that shit. Hey, hey, I told this nigga, I said, look, bro, I said, I'm going live at this time. You know, Leo, nigga, I ain't trying to hear that nigga shit. Nigga be crying, so, by, crying by nobody let him know. I said, I let him know ahead of time, right? I, I mm -hmm. spawned about 30 minutes on here warming the crowd up like I normally do and shit. You know what I mean? It was a call in show, call so he really ain't had the excuse. He really had no excuse. Here you go. Here you go, goddamn backing up the motherfucker. I don't yeah, he really ain't had no excuse. He call in Yo, show. Ass out. Hey, Unc, I'm about ready to get rid of this motherfucker, Unc. <laughs> <laughs> But big cat, big cat, I'm gonna tell you that that's 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 some real shit because I looked it up and I read the yeah. article and I was like, Wow. Let's get three hundred dollar ban on C Dougie tonight. C Dougie talking about his fucking car broke down. I told this motherfucker, what you driving? A Nissan Verse? This nigga got a Nissan Verse, but is out here spitting bad lyrics. That shit don't make sense. Let's get this nigga three hundred dollars. Get him the fuck out of here. Answer the phone. Whenever they got what? Yeah, that's that's powerful right there, man. I mean. Cause they said the boosters and shit, they finna throw that money to CJ. Oh, but but hey, big cat, big cat said some million. things, but he didn't say enough. Million. Hold on, let me let wait, me wait, let wait, me wait, clear wait, let wait. me clear it up a little bit. Right, go ahead. Let me clear this shit up a little bit. Now, first off, um, big cat was right when he said four million this year, but big cat didn't allude to the four million plus another four to four and a half million in endorsements with Ohio State this year. Now, first off, you got to understand if CJ Stroud returns to uh, Ohio State, he will be the highest paid player yep. in that NIF shit or whatever they fucking call it, NFI NIF shit. Center, right? Yeah, yeah. So he will be the highest paid player. Probably, probably he's set to make around nine to ten million this year. Now, right, if, well, but, now because you know Mercedes. Is oh yeah, you yeah yeah yeah. No, no, look, see, does it? You you right. So 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 let's say let's say ten plus million this year in college. Yep. With 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 CJ Stroud coming back, if I'm his agent, if I'm his family members, if I'm the athletic director, if I'm anybody who cares about this little nigga's financial well being, his future, I'm telling him right now. Bring your black ass back to Ohio State. The money's here. The endorsement's here. You will be the top dog in the dr Hey, look, dude, dude you you got to understand what, what C.J. Stroud is set to lose if he comes out of college this year. Fuck the NFL. If he, he comes out this year, he, he has the uncertainty of who drafts him, and I'm sure he's looking at who the fuck may draft him. You know what I mean? 
Shit, like, uh, this saying that though, but look, you got Caleb Williams and Drake May coming out next year, so he's yeah. not guaranteed top. Oh, he, he, yeah, he is, yeah, no, he is, not. yeah. Caleb come on, C. Dougie. Do, do you do you see them beating him? Do you yes, see them Caleb beating Williams Ohio be State in the national championship? Caleb Williams is. A I said, do you see them winning in the national? Mind you, he still got he still got Marvin Harris Jr. coming back uh, with who him. Won uh, who won the Heisman? I, see, Doug, I don't care about that. I'm talking about next year. I'm talking about when he comes back, he will be the top dog, if not one of Taylor them. Caleb Williams is better than he, C.J. Uh, uh, hey, C. Hey, C. Hey, hey, see, Doug, he said, it, he said it might be. He ain't say he ain't say conclusive. Caleb Williams is a better passer of the ball right now on the run. Who he play for? USC. He for I USC. keep saying he's better but, than CJ Stroud. But they they yeah. won't beat Ohio State That's in the national the championship. Team. They not they not going to beat Ohio State. They will not. See, though, you can't say I, that. I, I'm telling but, you, they Leo, won't. But Leo, 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 what is the Heisman Trophy winner? The best per, best player, right? Not team. No, no, no. no. We, 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 I'm saying no, no. You're right. I'm saying on, K, 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 Caleb Williams is good. He good. Yeah, he, he better than CJ. But I'm just saying, I will be the top team. dog next year. He will I'm be the top team. dog. Ohio Leo, State, Leo, all of that shit. Point. People, people say Will Levis ain't have fucking help, but look how high his. You, you think that's you think you think that's legitimacy? Get that smoke screen. Will, Will Levis is not going to get drafted. He might get. He might. He might. He ain't gonna go. He ain't gonna go more than five. But he's not going to be one of two. Friday in the draft. Who knows now? Yeah. Oh, he said he's that's not there. Fuck oh, yeah, that's Will a Levis fucking high. fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Dougie. So, it, big Cat alluded to it last night. This little nigga pull out that pussy and don't don't declare for this draft. The whole fucking draft board has flipped itself upside down. He's Teams going that in thought that they... draft. He's going in that draft. Trust me. I, I, you, you got. He's he there. got to. He got the Monday. He got the Monday three p.m. He's going in that. Can that where your ass been? Hey, I'm I'm tired of y'all talking about the cold temper. <laughs> well, I had, to, I had to take a break from that shit. Well, we six and motherfucking ten. Seven ten. Stop playing. Don't, you know don't take a win from a seven. Fucking draft. Wait, <laughs> fuck Steve Wilkes. All this old so, 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 so. Hold on, Kendall. CJ Stroud don't declare. Then what? He's going number two. He been a second. I said if he don't, two. if if he don't come out this year, then what? A lot of a lot of teams gonna reach for quarterback just like us. Second, he's gonna be the second quarterback. Yeah. This nigga won't fucking listen for like shit. Kendall, 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 if he don't come out, nigga, declare if he don't come out. If he don't, oh, you said if he don't come out. Yeah, yeah, if he don't. Yeah, come three out. times. I mean, I mean, he get he gonna get the money, like I said, but he don't know if he's gonna be the highest paid in the NIL. That's why I called in. Bryce but no, Kendall, he's saying what's Bryce gonna happen up? in the draft. He's saying what's gonna happen in the Damn, draft, Kendall. boy. Oh, well, you you looking at this right here? <laughs> you looking at you looking at say Will Levis gonna move up and Richardson gonna move up if he don't come exactly. Up. People gonna read. Yeah. People so, gonna read for Richardson. Yeah, and I can they see gonna read for Will Richardson and read. So, for is that a good thing, fellas? I think well, I mean, for people pockets it is. Kendall, stay right there. Kendall, let, yeah. let me ask you a question, Kendall. Why, why hasn't Steve Will been interviewed by any other team? We found out that the, the Brian Flores, another uh, affirmative action lawsuit uh, recipient, he has an interview, I think, with the Broncos. But why hasn't Steve Wilkes? I thought he had some opportunities. You, you said it earlier. The nigga ain't did enough. <laughs> what the nigga ain't did enough. What the fuck? Nigga ain't dead enough. If he the, the man said, but God damn. This just just talking and shit. Damn. Well, when you see Wait, black, when you see up, up though, Leo talking. Nah, he he, he ain't had he fuck, What he said? That man got to do an uh, 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 oh phenomenal, over, <laughs> a phenomenal, a <laughs> motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Like. He got to reach out to the heavens and shit. <laughs> <laughs> to, to even be considered. The can be considered. And then Kendall, Kendall, the last game of the year, Mick had read something, or the day before, something like that. And they, then the Buccaneers game, like, look, it don't fucking matter what this motherfucker do. Yep, we're going another direction. Going another direction. 
Yeah, they look like you It's, it's funny how y'all niggas get geeked up over some shit like that. Oh, yeah, don't man, we got a bet on the oh, oh, Don't we got a bet on the Oh, we got a bet. We still shout, got a bet on the Shout out to the 224 in the goddamn chat. Y'all step on that like button. Subscribe if you ain't got that many show love in the cash app. You see him. Big Cat up there of 2021. See Dougie in the cut. Show that goddamn love. What up, kid there? Steve will will in a hug in a lollipop. Nah, big cat, you you big cat, you said the best thing ever. He said he gave that nigga a game ball. Got a game ball. Fuck what you want him to do. Shit. And the play the players talking about they going there meeting with the nigga game ball. I wish the players want to give him one at the end of the game because they they give him one beating the Saints. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I wish the white man would take his fucking football, basketball, and just leave you niggas to fend for yourselves. Because you're so fucking ungrateful. The, the, the absolute nerve of you to say, I want you to hire who I want you to hire. I'm going to cut you off, Leo. Let yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell these big six foot six, 340 pound niggas trying to get in, out, get in and get out for fuck, Leo. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. 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 Yeah, that's fucked up, Leo. Hey, right, first of all, what I will tell y'all niggas, y'all go stop doing is saying, is saying these goddamn players quit on Matt Rule. For first off, no, that first is. off, you fucking niggas quit on Matt Rule. The fan base, the oh, the ownership oh, quit on I Matt Rule. Well, oh, we not getting paid, yo, We not getting paid, no, oh, we not getting paid on Matt Rule, bitch ass. Right, we quit on Matt Rule. But oh, we not getting paid. I didn't quit on his ass. Fuck, what? We not getting paid. Took the players so goddamn long. We not getting paid. Oh, this is not our job. Yeah. We 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 don't we we not get paid to be on this phone. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's our job to quit on them. Is that what you no, said? No, it's not. We 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 don't we care. Are we just, we not get paid. So so, so so what's what's our job? What's our proverbial job we as a as a fan? Are as, are okay, you big head motherfucker. As a proverbial fan, what's our job? Or be fans. Fans. The support. And yeah, we don't. We not getting paid. Okay, right. okay. Oh, I, right. okay. I, I take support. I take support. So, didn't you motherfuckers stop supporting Matt Rule? Okay, yes. we did, but we not getting paid. Huh? We not getting paid millions. God damn it, she does. No, I don't give a fuck what you getting paid to, to, to support the team. You just said no, your job was right. no, to no, support no. the team. Uh, 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 That's supporting, it. You're right. Oh, you right oh. He lost the fan base just like he lost the locker room. God damn it, and yeah. and they yeah. took too long. They he, the locker room took too long in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you right. All right. So uh, let me say this: you work, you work, you work on uh, morning shift. Let's say some of your coworkers don't fucking come to work, and you the only nigga that they telling, "Hey, aunt, go this way. Hey, aunt, go this way. Go, aunt, go this way." You just running back and forth with your fucking head turning left and right. How the fuck you gonna fucking feel? And you the only nigga that showed up to fucking work. Uh, that don't make no goddamn sense. What? What? Because, what? Because see, Dougie, he got to go to work regardless. Yeah, I mean, knows. what point no, are you no, trying no, to no, make? Leo, they're going to work, but they're not fucking playing. They're just trying no, to get but, a fucking check. But I'm saying, but you, you can't use that now because if I'm going to go to work, that man don't give a fuck if he don't want there. If you want to get a paycheck, yeah, man, man, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, excuse C. Dougie for making that horrible analogy. I don't know what the fuck was he talking about. I don't know what he was talking about. See, Doug, you got one more time to use a horrible analogy, and I'm blocking you for free. But the thing, the thing about it is, we are novice. We are not say novice, but we are fans. We are fanatics. We are fucking fanatics. We crazy over the fucking team. We sitting up here talking about this shit every fucking week. We we got shit to do with our lives, but yet still we take time out of our lives because we are fucking fanatics. We're not yeah. getting paid for this shit. We don't gain no financial gain from this shit outside of. You know, some of y'all do because y'all got channels. I don't got no financial gain. Exa exactly. So that's the, but that's the, but, but but big cat do that out of choice. These players sign contracts. Some of the players on the team before Matt Rule yeah, even got they hired. They obligated. They you obligated. They, they are they are financially obligated, and the owner has a contract. Right there, the Leo, players Leo, let me don't ask you a play. Leo, Leo, yes, sir, bro. Mm -hmm. what, who, who playbook was uh, Steve Wilkes using? Ben McAdoo. Stay right there. Let me ask Leo. Leo, who playbook was Steve Wilkes using? Ben McAdoo playbook. Stay right, the same there. Stay, right there. Stay right there. So, 
when Steve Wilkes took on this magical spell of playbooks, they all of a sudden start working better? No, it was because the sorry, stupid ass, emotional niggas decided to say, you know what? I got a black man for my coach. I'm going to do better. There Fuck you because you're getting fucking paid. There it don't it fucking is. matter. There it is. There it is. See, that's that's the difference. I'm, I'm saying we, we fanatic. Hey, see, see, y'all, talk, y'all talking this shit to the wrong nigga where you try. No, nah, it ain't that. That's that's not where it is. That is not where it is. That is. That is. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> So um, what's so, so what's the difference? In, uh, Y'all hopping that nigga Leo Cash App dollar sign Leo poor, dollar sign Leo poor. He talking that facts. You may not like it. He talking that fact. Well, well, well. When Matt Rule was in, when he was in office, you know, players play how they fucking play. Hence, we went one and four when he got fired. Only won five and gave five games the previous year. Now. When Matt Rule exited, you had players start to come out. Oh, fuck that. You had the, the interim head coach come out and start speaking on the fact that there has been players on this roster that deserved opportunities under Matt Rule that didn't get them. You know like what I mean? Who? We can, like, who? Who? like who? Dante fucking Foreman, nigga. You know what I mean? Because no, weeks one right through right fucking right five, right. where the fuck was Foreman at? No way. Where was he at? But, but by that time, they had I don't want to hear that uh, shit, Kendall. I don't want to hear that. Hey, who's this? What's up, big cat? There's three from the chat, bro. At the time, okay, it, stop, it, it, stop it, right there. Nah, nah, Kendall, you can't. Contract. Is it in so, his contract? He had to get so many touches. But Kendall, you can't even argue that. Huh? You can't even argue that. You can't argue that. It's just. But no, my point point is, my point is, Kendall. Even my point is this. The, the 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 facts is out there. The reports is out that Matt Rule was not playing players that was physically healthy, ready to go. I mean, they, they it's out there. I'm not making this shit up. Marcus, well, Marcus that's coaching. Yeah. So so now let me ask y'all this question. We we even asked each other, did Matt Rule have a fucking blacklist, or did he did he have a goddamn blacklist going on in the locker room? This was a question that we had. Now, if Matt Rule was treating players or alienating players, you know, blatantly, you no, know, you're not fucking playing. I'm not going to fucking play you. you know, I can just see how Matt Rule talking to him. I don't know. I'm I, not I in the locker room. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why Terrence shit. Marshall wasn't playing. He should have been playing. Exactly. Another question. 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 Another Hey, hey, what, what's wrong? What's going on? Did he piss I, Matt Rule off? This was the I, question. I think he's just, so, he just so desperate and just so stupid, man. No, nah, Matt Rule. Look, 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 okay, so 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 if you got a homeboy you know desperate and stupid as hell, Kendale, are you fucking with him on a Saturday night? What do you mean? Like C Dougie? You already know he dumb as fuck, stupid yeah. and desperate. Sound like C Dougie. You, yeah, you telling that nigga hell now? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a chill out. I'm so desperate on the win game. See, 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 ain't no way you can run. You can't run from this. You can't run from this ass whooping. I'm a guillotine. I, I don't think Matt Rule necessarily cared about. Matt Rule wanted to do it his way. I don't think he necessarily cared about wins and losses toward the end. He just Man. wanted to do it his way. Yeah, because well, I see, that right there alone to make players who care about wins and losses disagree with you, Leo. Yeah, yeah I understand. You know, you're right. I understand. But, but oh, my point is that it wasn't, it's not, it's not enough. Even playing Steve, playing Brandon Marshall, and playing Deontay Foreman was a great thing. But I don't think it's enough to warrant him being the coach. Leo. No, no, but but you you big you big cat ass. Why did the playbook look different? First and foremost, you add you you add a fucking you add an addition of Deontay Foreman who Stop almost cracked a thousand yards. Shit, nigga. Yeah, but it's a fact, nigga. Damn yeah, yeah, it's 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 a fact. Um, but that does not warrant Steve Wilkes to be the coach for the Panthers. That's not a that because um running the ball ain't gonna beat nobody that throw the ball. Um. You so crazy as see. hell and beat but, the oh, shit out of Detroit, nigga. Oh, we don't oh, have the defense. Rodgers against Detroit. They we was one of the, the, the most, they had the most passing yards right in the league. We don't have the defense for that. We don't have the defense for that.
Hey, bro, Leo, on, we, beat, we beat one of the most prolific pass teams this season. We oh, set why records we on the ground. Well, why, why, why Tom ain't what Tom through 400 yards? Man, look, I ain't got nothing. Look, that's it. we would have beat them if Steve Wilkes ain't trying to throw against Tom Brady. If Steve Wilkes run that ball 40 times, we we in the fucking playoffs today. Nah, I don't know. Nah, Steve I don't, Wilkes. I, I, you I, pissing I, me I, off. I don't want nobody to run the ball 40 times. You don't Fuck win Steve anything. Wilkes. We, we should have ran we, it 40 we, times. We don't have a you defense. You want this man as the fucking coach, but you saying fuck Steve Wilkes. Fuck no, Steve he, Wilkes. Because he's saying fuck Steve Wilkes because the, he, he, Steve Wilkes went away from what he was God winning. Damn right, Leo. Leo. See, Leo understands Leo. me. Hey, Leo, Leo, Leo. If we go down 14 against Buffalo, are we coming back? Of course not. Not oh, running the ball. Hold on, hold on. Are we going? No, if we go, if we go, see, Leo, we time, was we was up fourteen. If we, go we down, up fourteen, no, no, not but, down fourteen. No, 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 no. You right. Um, I'm talking about, but, but, but we can't play. You can't. We Leo, can't. Leo, if we, we go down fourteen with, against Kansas City, we down by fourteen oh, against we, Kansas we, City. We, can we beat? It's gonna be thirty-five. It's gonna be thirty-five by halftime. Defensive pressure. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. And, and tried to throw against Tom hold, hold Brady. On. Leo, Leo, what about if we run the ball 40 times? Can we come back from 14? <laughs> no, we're going to be 45 to 7. <laughs> but okay. wait a minute. We can, we can beat you. Real quick, I just, wanted to, um, I just wanted to mention, what's up, Big Cat? What's up, uh, uh, what's up Leo? What's, what's up, going man? on, baby? Who, who we got? Uh, hey, Big Cat. How you doing, my friend? I, I'm not. I'm not sure if Steve Wilkes is going to be the head, the next head coach or not. But I think we can't ignore the damage that Matt Rule did to the morale in the locker room, and to say to blame the players for a losing season. Well, I, I, you have to have a coach in order to play um, at your highest level. I don't think the players can do it on their own, and I think uh, the job that Matt Rule did was so severe. I don't think we're giving Steve uh, Wilkes the, the credit. Caller, I'm not going to let you do that, caller. I'm not going to let you do that. These are grown men making grown motivation. You don't need no motherfucking motivation to show up and give your best. Like I said, I'm pretty sure out of 241 people in this chat right now, I'm willing to bet at least half of these motherfuckers hate their boss. But they show up every day and they probably work hard. Or no, let me see. Not, how many blacks in the chat? Can we get a real quick count? It's 240 people. I'll say probably 200 of you are black. So... The 40 white people in here, they probably show up every day despite them hating their boss and work their ass off. Not because they got them like their boss. Not because they earn, they're coming there to earn their check. Grown ass man, bro, do you know niggas that are professional athletes? Basketball players, soccer players, hockey players, NFL players. You're in the upper 10 percentile. A, a pay range. 10 percentile. Think about that. And the whole wide world, you're in the upper 10 percentile a pay range and you need motivation because you don't like the white man. You niggers got to stop. You niggers got to stop. If you got a coach like Matt Rule that's alienating players, look, Terrence Marshall Jr. should have been out there from day one. Deontay. Shout out to Anthony Vasquez. He says, I hate my boss and I'm white. You're a liar. Your last name is Vasquez. You ain't fucking white, nigga. Come on. Nice try. <laughs> he might go for white. He might pass for white. He Come on, he white. You ain't white. He for what? Uh, what's he doing that's, to me? What's he, he doing chooses. to me? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he chooses. No, nah, but I hear what you're but saying. Though, what I'm saying, but Matt, Matt Rule, but Matt Rule, Matt Rule, Matt Rule gone. We give Steve Wilkes. We give Real Steve credit for winning those games. He did it. He he turned the team around morale wise. You're absolutely right. Yo, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, I yo, here, here's uh, the here's the truth, Leo. It's like Big Cat. It's like Big Cat. No, no. What I'm saying is, if 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 you hate your boss, you don't stop showing up, not working. That's what I'm trying to say. You still go to work and work your ass off, right? It's okay to hate your boss. It's okay to hate your fucking boss. There's nothing wrong with that. You just show your ass up and you work, right? You don't get to say, "Ah, oh, man, I don't like this guy. He's not my he's not my ethnicity. Uh, he is my ethnicity, but I don't like him, so I'm not gonna work hard." Motherfucker. Who did he lose to? Fucking I mean, Mitchell you know, Trubisky. He, 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 yeah. So, granted, he did. Oh, he, he didn't lost get, to he, the he Pittsburgh still a defense. It wasn't Trubisky. Nah, he, Mitch was throwing Trubisky passes. He didn't throw no damn touchdowns Pick, Pick, in the game. Pickens was, Pickens was using the music. Yeah, yeah, but he coach, still didn't throw no touchdowns. I mean, they didn't throw touchdowns in the air. 
The, the, the Mitch Trubisky looked like a Pro Bowl quarterback against. Uh, oh no, he did. No, he did. No, no, he did. Leo, no, no. How many? Yeah. How many in the seven? How many? How many first downs he got on passes? How many? How many? How many times he kept the drive alive? He he looked. Yeah, he had. A, he played a good game. He did. He did. Yeah, wasn't the Pro Bowl, Bowl game. game. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm exaggerating. What I'm saying, but the coach you playing against a, a, a journeyman quarterback. Shout out to Ricardo for that cash app. Didn't Matt Rule give them? <laughs> didn't Matt Rule give them monkeys a ping pong table? <laughs> yes, he did give them a ping pong table, but the monkeys wanted the PS Five in there. They didn't. They got bored of the ping pong table. Took too much intelligence, so he they wanted the PS Five to play instead. Stop that! It was no adjustments, Leo. Because he, he, said, he ain't make no adjustments. He, he, he ain't make no adjustments with that game. He ain't make no adjustments Leo, against Tampa Bay. Leo, so it's Leo, clear. Taylor, but hold on, Leo. Keith Taylor, Taylor did the same thing he did playing against playing the Steelers. He did at the Bucks. He didn't put no hands on no. Yes, yeah, that to you. Whatever they wanted, and they raped his ass all fucking game. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and that's nothing. He like I said, he won the well, game. Is, is that the head coach fault, or is that on the player and his technique? Nah, it's, it's, it's on the coach. Absolute coach. Because you could, you could, you could. Because Steve, just, Steve Wilkes said uh, uh, by his account on two of those plays for Mike Evans, he said he had safety help. The safety just blew their assignment. They wasn't in position. So he put, so he, did, I mean, by all accounts, Steve Wilkes put all, all the blame on players saying the players were supposed to be in position. They, they, they called the right, they had the right goddamn personnel on the field. Just safety well, wasn't what clear, it was supposed clear, to be. We're, clear, we're clearly, Clearly, get rid of the, bring the safety up to, to the box because um, they're right there. No, you keep you, you keep doing that shit. You ain't got a safety in position <laughs> no, to I'm run saying, past I'm, a fucking but, Keith but, Taylor but, but, or goddamn CJ but, Henderson whack ass. But it wasn't clearly it wasn't doing that. Right right I mean, Hold on, y'all. Got, got a developing story, y'all. Per NFL reporter Jonathan Jones, he said NFL coaching agents still fear that black coaches won't get a chance despite the Rooney Rule. Mm. He said there are currently five NFL head coaching opens, and he says this may be a disappointing cycle for. Black who said people. this? Who, who reported this? Who reported this began? Jonathan Jones. Well, yeah, Jonathan you know, Jones. you know, that oh, hold on, is, what, 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 color is what, what color is Jonathan Jones? He, he's probably a white man. So, 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 let me just say something. You know what? I, I, I no, no, hey, oh, 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 hold tight, hold, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Like I said, <laughs> like I said, like I said. Let's, let's, let's real quick. Do you know? Do you know the last three coaches for the Houston Texans? You know what color they were? Talk that shit, Leo. So, 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 when you un- the, ain't last about, I- two, the last two, Leo, the last, two. Oh, the la- probably the last two, the last two. The last so, two. so, so, when you, so, so, I ain't talking about nobody on this phone. So when you, so when you black people talk about you don't get a fair shake, you know what, you know what, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna <laughs> box your, they're gonna box your ass in the corner. So what you're going to do is now going forward, all they're going to do is just interview you just because they have to. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then what they're going to do is they're going to hire all the white, all they're going to, they're going to hire Hispanics. They're going to hire Asians. They, 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 they're going to hire plenty everybody. They, plenty, they, they, of plenty of them. And they're going to, they're going to hire everybody but you just to appease the, the 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 actual like rule that you put it that you put in place because yeah, you say yeah. you say it that you're not getting a fair shot. Well, Leo, they 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 yeah. said that they said to do away with it by 2024. So motherfucker can bitch about it all they want because, because well, it's once not the NFL reality. has that has no longer has that that fucking I don't know because I don't know how the owners really feel about that particular you know, rule. You know they, oh, you know they don't yeah, like it. Yeah, you, you know, know, you know, know they don't I like know it. that, Leo. Like Leo, you know I know that. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah I just got to hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me ask y'all this, though. Is the black coach successful in the NFL? But, but, no, 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 no. The success rate for the black Head coach in the NFL is extremely fucking low, Leo. Okay, okay, Around, okay. And and, and, and the only success mm-hmm. rate we can equate really to is two. Is is Mike Tomlin? Yeah, oh, but you got to you got to give Tony Dungy the thing. So that's yeah, yeah, Tony Dungy as well. But, but that's Tony a small, Dungy, small, 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 small sample. 
Listen okay, how me, many me, opportunities. Me, was a winner in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, but my point exactly. Look at how many opportunities Lovey Smith has had with premium exactly. organ organizations. And the thing do. is, the, the thing is, you keep exactly. giving these niggas opportunities, yeah. and, and they Chicago. keep losing, and they keep Bob losing. Shit, yeah, Lovey, Lovey yeah. might fuck around, get the head coaching job in Charlotte. No, 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 but the thing about it is, like I say, what you're going to do is, see, the thing is, when the quality, when your performance is is poor, and you keep advocating for shit, what they're going to do, they're going to box you in the corner, they're going to say, okay, you, 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 say we, you say we discriminating, okay, we put a hire some Asians, we finna hire some 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 some, some hit Latinos no, and we quite and frankly, we, and Leo, them no, some no, siren no, motherfuckers. But look, 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 no, 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 we don't matter. We finna bend. We 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 finna acquiesce to you. We finna hire a minority since you say we don't hire minority because we giving you niggas chances and you're not fucking good. So what we're gonna do is we finna hire some Asians and we finna hire some Latinos to be the coaches. And if they not successful, we gonna like we gave y'all y'all motherfuckers a chance. Hey, Leo, and I'm Leo, and I'm, Leo, and I'm Leo, losing money. Leo, I'm losing Leo, money. Leo, in a minute. In a minute. Hey hey, and if they do away with the rule, I bet you next year. Leading up to the end or the exit of the rule, that's exactly what they do, Leo. The, the owners won't even interview a black motherfucker. They just interview other minorities. And hell, the black and man will never get the fucking phone and call. Go me. Mind about Leo, that. Leo and, um, y'all were testing at this, but look what the NBA did. The NBA never had really any black coaches. Just look what they did. They don't have a a, 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 a Rooney rule to sit here and have a, a, a um, three mandatory interviews for you to sit here and hire a coach but look, yeah, look, look yeah, how I mean, many black coaches look how many black coaches have came in just by changing the mindset you don't have to have a rule because i feel like the rule is really a fucking slap in the face that's a bullshit yeah i think we need an openly gay coach an openly gay coach what do you think about that we need an openly gay black coach you you know you know exactly what the fuck you like. I see that. Like, see see like, Did you used to coach, brother? I was an undergrad GA. I was never a head coach or never a position coach. I was an undergrad coach. I think you'll be good for the position, brother. Where are you getting that big cat? But but <laughs> what I'm telling it, 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 you, it should Leo, be embarrassed. Big cat, go ahead and say what you're trying to say. <laughs> Like I said, you know, I mean, I tell you with this, I'm not I'm not to use coaching. I use it in the military. I went I joined the military thinking as a black man, the white man would sit here and look at me different. They don't give a fuck. It's they don't give a fuck. Whoa, 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 and whoa and whoa, see the See, I mean, he, no, he, no, he, no, he, wait, he hold on, young. fella, stop. All I need is see Dougie real quick. See Dougie is younger. He he I, I know you are, I know you are. And, and and this is a no, I'm not gonna get him. This is a prime example for me to find out who C. Dougie is. I don't know C. Dougie. C. Dougie letting us in on something. My my question to you, C. Dougie, is what gave you that perception that 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 would change so, the so, fucking. Uh, I say this. I break it down. Like, so uh, I break it down. What does white America think of a black man that gets an education or gets a college degree? They don't you tell, fucking care. On, yeah, they you, don't on, care. Leo. Stop, Leo. You tell me. See, Dougie, what they do you think? Okay. Okay. So then, with me taking... Shout out to my nigga Uncle Quan. Yes, sir. Just got that link, bro. I appreciate that, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Uncle Quan. Do one month out of a... um One weekend out of a month. Why not take advantage of that where I'm not sitting here going, doing active time. I can go to school and still serve our country. So I try to double up. But then think about all this craziness whenever we had, I'll call it race wars in America where, you know, the whole people thinking cops killing black young men, all this and that. I'm mm -hmm. thinking I'll at least get some respect for a job and it looks good on an interview that 
Hey, this Damn. is a military Stop, veteran. stop right there, C. Dougie. Stop right there. Howard, call in, Howard. Call in, Brother Howard. Call in, Brother Howard. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful, goddammit. I'm this is why I thank my father in heaven, because for one, I never have a father in the house grow up. Me yep. knowing my brother. For yeah. two, for two, see Dougie, that going to college and all that shit, that wasn't part of my future. See, three, I grew up in the streets, see Dougie on the block. So most of my life lessons, most of my morals come from just just that alone. So when you say what you say. That that you felt like that that would change your perception, or see, say, I feel like your your no, pop should have taught you. No, yeah, I'm you should have had an older brother or somebody teach you another avenue of game for no, the simple no, it was fact. Position, uh, position, not perception. Yeah, it's position. He said he, he said it's status. Status. Yeah, but I'm the only status. the I'm only thing that status. truly stat the only thing that truly raised your status in this world, see, Dougie. It's money, man. Yeah, well, I, I, well, I, I, don't, I don't give a I'm fuck a, how many. I'm, I'm, listen to I'm, me. To I don't money. give a fuck. You have to huh? have a stat. Shut your mouth. Let this old man talk to you, bro. The money. When I say stat, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you can't, money. you can't, you can't get to the money. That's the problem, your young ass. You, 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 the nigga trying to kick you game. The nigga old. Oh, he, he, he trying to kick you game. Shut your fucking mouth. Let him talk to you. God damn, nigga. Let him kick you some wisdom, nigga. It's, it's almost like the dope game. You can't become a weight man until you start selling pieces, nigga. And if you if, if you do, if you happen to fall into a bunch of fucking weight, it'd be equivalent of winning the lottery. You know what I mean? For one, you ain't gonna stay there long. You you have you have it, you fall the fuck off. In order to get to the top, nigga, you gotta grind there. You gotta that's why I say. I, it, it couldn't. Have, I, I I hate the fact that you say you you joined the military because you saw it as a mean no, to an end me. to oh. help you so to I'm, help I'm, you I'm knock your it, education but, but, oh, off. That's his reality, though. The thing about no, it, it is, is, I know it is. C. Dougie, that's why. That's and why every, I'm I'm thankful for C. Dougie for letting us yeah, in on that. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a lot of young dudes that think like C. Dougie. But see, the only the way. The only I'm gonna say, but the, the salute that's 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 why I stay on black oak so fucking hard because that mentality permeates throughout the black community before C Dougie. So the only way to resolve that is to have dignity, self respect, and pride, period, across the board. So I don't wanna see men, grown fucking men, going to the white man and say, Look, you're not giving me a fair shake, even though I'm a grown fucking man. Yeah. I got that's my own fact. money, that's I got my fact. own shit. But you yeah, still yeah, yeah. on your fucking yeah, knee. Yeah, your, Tell the your white man. Tell the yeah, white man. No, I'm not as good as you. Yeah. Yeah. you go to the white perception means it means nothing. But your when, 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 when your basketball players, you. when, ba when, when black athletes, when basketball players, football players, when you go to the white man exactly. on your fucking knees talking about, I don't feel like you look at me the same. Totally. You're not treating me the same. Bitch, yeah, you remember me telling you a story about the nigga telling me to always finish the conversation with I love you anyway, right? All right? Now, now point is, that same conversation, this, this nigga dropped jewels on me this day. Now, that's, that same conversation, he's letting me know. Niggas, he, he was like, why why you think, you know what I mean? Because right now, the, the nigga was worth a couple million, a few million dollars. How you think I got this nigga? He told me. I went in debt $800,000. He told me he went in debt $800,000 when he was 18 years old. You know what I mean? And he said, he said, you know how I got to this fucking money? He said, most of these niggas on the street, the little niggas out here you see, whether they in high school, he said, the, the black man's afraid to go into debt, right? But you, 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 you take the richest white man on the planet. How much how much debt you think he got? But what what I'm yeah. saying to you is this. He said he said that he said this is how he made his fucking money. And he at first off, I'm getting you somewhere. I'm saying this to take you somewhere. The niggas the niggas said at 18 he went to the bank. First off, he got a little loan, little loan from the bank, knowing he was gonna be in debt after he got the loan. From there, he took that loan, went and bought a fucking brand new truck, couple brand new suits. You hear me? To look like a few hundred thousand. You hear me? The nigga say, the nigga told me, told me straight up, you can't get nobody to give you shit, nigga. Unless you look like what you asking for. Shout out to that nigga Unk dropping dimes on you niggas today. God, I, I gotta spend a couple hours with you, nigga. Shout out to that nigga. Shout out to that nigga Unk dropping dimes on niggas.
Yeah, I got I got to spend a couple hours with the nigga C. Dougie. Nigga, 